All right, the first test here will be a little bit of an easy one. We are in uh, an active parking lot. So you can see here, we're gonna have to go through this area where there's some cross traffic, but I have a really good view of what's going on. Um, Tesla has some rules set for when you're doing this. So let's get started and we're gonna follow the rules. So I'm just gonna say, come to me and the car should come right to me. I don't know why it wants to go in reverse, but that's all right. And here it comes. So if the car looks like it's gonna have any issues, I can just let go of the button and we will have no problems. So coming up to the stop sign, there's no traffic. The car is approaching very slowly and goes through. And perfect, came right to me, still holding the button. No problems whatsoever. So let's try something a little more difficult. All right, no tripod on this one because I'm gonna have to jump in the car pretty quick. I don't wanna block anybody, um, but here we go. I'm just gonna hit come to me and the car is right next to that red truck on the right. And here it comes. There was a car in front of it, so it could not have gone forward. <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> it's kind of like nerve wracking. Um, Luckily, there's not really much traffic. So it's on the correct side of the row. It kind of seemed to do that on purpose. Hesitating a bit. Stop there to check maybe. Will anybody care? Nope. So a lot of stuff happened all at once on that last run. Um, we had the family walking by that didn't even care that nobody was in the car. I don't know how you could look at that. I mean, maybe it just doesn't register, but at least two of them clearly looked in the car and had no reaction. Um, and then right as the car started to pull out, a uh, pickup truck came really quickly um, from the left side. So I decided to just run and get my car out of the way so that I'm not, you know, being too annoying to anybody. Um, so let's do one more. I think this isn't an appropriate environment. I think that this needs to be used in a place where when the car gets to you, it can be there. It can be stopped there and kind of be hanging out and it's expected, you know, that's what a person would do. Um, here, nobody's going to park in the front of Meyer and park there uh, unless they're really annoying. Um, so I think let's try one more. I'm going to go over to the movie theater where it's a little less busy with kind of the curb traffic. There'll still be cars driving around, um, but I'm not gonna be getting in anybody's way that's kind of in a hurry, they're shopping or whatever. Um, so let's see how that works. All right, a little less busy here, but it is an active parking lot. I am right on the edge of the abilities here. So it said move closer, but now it's working. And here comes the car, poking out there, really fast and confident. It's still super weird. Okay, uh, random stop. And again, it's going to the correct side of the lane, so that's good. Um, it's an active parking lot, but there's not a whole lot going on. Um, and this is a spot where, you know, I feel like if I'm standing on the curb um, and the, the car takes a second for me to hop in, nobody's gonna be too upset. Um, so this is a place where I could see using it, you know, especially if it's raining like crazy, um, I, I would use it. So still coming, um, I'm not gonna release the button. It's going pretty slow. So here it comes. There is a car right there. I'm gonna release the button and the car's gonna violently stop there. And I'm gonna wait for this car to go by and they're gonna go right by. So I'm gonna say, come to me. And here it comes. So I think that's an appropriate use. I'm not gonna just hold the button randomly knowing that you know a car is gonna be there. Um, so trying to figure out how it's gonna finish everything. It's just gonna drive right up to me. And good. Stop, I'm still holding the button. So it stopped right there. All right, very good. All right, I am on the edge of the blue circle. I'm just gonna use come to me. Uh, the path is straight to me, so it's going to go through. We have um, that kind of grass cul-de-sac there, and oh, it's actually going around. Oh man, pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like it's going to do this really well. 
All right, this makes me feel a lot better. This is very cool. Look at that, no plumes with this. The path on the screen is just, per I don't wanna show you because it's got my uh, street name on it, but the path is perfect. And it's coming right to us, not even close to the grass at all. All right, I'm gonna start backing up and hopefully it'll keep coming. Look at that, no problem at all. <laughs> Very cool, I mean, it's just a straight line. Um, which, you know, makes it a little disappointing, but it did go around the grass in the middle there. So I really liked that. See this, I think Autopilot, you know, has a really good time seeing the grass boundaries because even on this little road you're looking at right now, I have engaged Autopilot. Uh, it doesn't come up very often, but I've turned it on uh, and once it's on, it tends to work pretty well. You know, those videos are pretty interesting. So check those out if you haven't seen them. Um, but this is, this is just perfect. Um, I'm just holding the come to me button and just walking backwards. That's all I'm doing. And the car is doing this so perfectly. Man, you know, the gravel driveway got me kind of depressed because I was thinking it's not gonna work very well. Um, but this here, this is awesome. So we'll keep going. Um, I'm about at the end of this street and I will come out onto the street here. And let's see, which way, let's go this way. We can turn and see, oh, maximum distance reached. Okay, so even though I'm close to the car, let's see. Okay, so now I can just restart it. It just had to stop and, and I can restart it now since I'm still within the circle. So I'm summoning again. And again, the path on my screen is still perfect. Oh, sorry if the camera gets off. I'm managing a lot of things here. So it almost looks like it's going around that puddle. Oh, nope, right for the puddle. <laughs> That's all right. I'm fine with that. And very good. Look at this. I don't know why it keeps flashing those. Um, it's still coming right down the dirt road. Very cool, very cool. All right, I like it. Uh, let's see if it can turn around. Okay, come to me. I'm behind the car see what it does. Again, this is a private road. This is uh, me and my neighbors kind of take care of all this. Yeah, the grass is getting in the way. All right, let me turn it around. All right, so we're going to bring the car home. Pressing come to me. Here is its path, if you're curious. So it is making a pretty good outline of everything. Nice job, plug. Off-roading like a champ. That's what we want to see, right through that mud. We got the mud flaps on now, so that's no big deal. Oh no, right on the grass. So if we can correct that. Okay, pretty good. Okay, so we're doing come to me one more time. Focus that for you so you can see. So it's pretty good with those grass boundaries. Um, it is seeing the grass really well and just coming right towards me. No problem at all. Oh no, where are you going? Don't, don't go there. I'm still holding the button. Oh, it stopped off. Well, so much for seeing the grass boundaries well. All right, one more try and then we'll call it. So there's the path. It's backing up. Fixing itself, maybe. No, it just wants to go in the grass. I don't know why. Yeah, I mean, at least it sees that grass and, and stops right when it touches it. Well, I got some bonus footage for you from last night, my first time using it. I went out at like 11.30 p.m. to try it out. Um, so check that out, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, what you think about this. Uh, it's a little, you know, it's extreme test here. It's a little ridiculous, but um, the, the dirt road, it did pretty good for most of it, and the driveway, yeah, I can't handle that at all. But maybe soon, we'll keep trying. All right, it's raining out, it's like 11.30, but 
Everyone's doing their enhancement videos. I don't want to be left out. I'm doing holding come to me. The car is supposed to follow you like a pet. So if I just walk down the driveway here, <laughs> then uh, it'll come with me. Now I'm on a gravel driveway. Oh no, don't go in the grass. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, I don't have clear barriers here. Oh, it's going fast. Doesn't want to lose me. Nope, don't go in the woods. Come to me. Oh, it's backing up. This is just the wildest thing. It's doing good, doing good for a gravel driveway, you can see. Um, not a great barrier. Oh, it's getting confused. Oh, what are you backing up for? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't like the gravel drive. Let me show you nobody's in there. 